Today, we are celebrating the 75th anniversary of the UN's Economic and Social Council, known as ECOSOC. The ECOSOC's central mandate in the UN Charter is to promote better living standards in larger freedoms through international economic cooperation. Since the Charter's adoption, the entire system of international cooperation on economic, social, health, humanitarian, and development issues has been created under the umbrella of the Economic and Social Council. Today, 20 international organizations, regional commissions, and autonomous entities report annually to the Economic and Social Council. Over the years, ECOSOC has been the central body for the discussion of international economic, social, and development policies. Some of the major development concepts, the 0.7% ODA target, the concept of special drawing rights linked to development, the special and preferential treatment of developing countries in international trade, all of these were evolved in ECOSOC's policy discussions. ECOSOC was instrumental also in the adoption of the international development strategies, the Millennium Development Goals, and the crucial evolution of the 2030 Agenda for Development and the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Today, the world is facing the most serious global health and economic crisis since the establishment of the United Nations and the creation of ECOSOC. Poverty has increased, as has hunger. The financial resources required for recovery by the developing countries remain to be mobilized. The achievement of the SDGs is in question. The threat of climate change appears imminent. And there is no assurance that the vaccine to halt the COVID pandemic will be equitably available to the poorer countries. The ECOSOC has a mandate and the responsibility to respond to these challenges. We must do so at ECOSOC's Financing for Development Forum in April, at the later Development Cooperation Forum, and at the High Level Forum in July. On the 75th anniversary of its creation, let us work together to fulfill the mandate and the potential of the Economic and Social Council.